Have you ever imagined creating your own chatbot that responds intelligently to user queries without writing tons of complex code? Well, you're in the right place. In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of building a chatbot using Node-RED. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, this guide will help you understand the core concepts of chatbot development, automate conversations, and even integrate APIs, all using a simple drag-and-drop interface. But first, why Node-RED? Node-RED is an open-source, low-code programming tool that allows you to wire together APIs, IoT devices, and other services in a flow-based visual environment. That means you don't need to write long scripts, just connect nodes. Configure them, and you're good to go. It's one of the best platforms for quickly prototyping and deploying chatbots for customer support, automation, and even AI-powered assistance. What you'll learn in this tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully functional chatbot that can receive user messages and process them dynamically, analyze inputs and generate appropriate responses, send responses back to the user through an interactive UI. Sounds exciting. Watch the video till the end. Let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the chatbot flow. This flow includes all the relevant nodes for handling user input, processing responses, and displaying chat history. User input, edit text input node. The user input node is where users will enter their messages. This node accepts user input, questions or messages. Sends input as soon as the user types the message has a slight delay set to prevent multiple triggers. Uses the topic user underscore message to set a topic for the message. This ensures that the chatbot receives user messages in a structured format. Step 2. Processing user messages. Now we will connect the user input node to a function node that processes user questions. This function node is named process user question and is responsible for analyzing and responding to user messages. Function node, process user question. The function node is where the chatbot logic is written. It converts the user message to lowercase and trim spaces. Looks up predefined responses for simple chatbot logic. Sends a reply if a matching response is found. Otherwise, it defaults to, I don't understand. Please ask another question. Stores chat messages, user and bot responses in flow memory. This function node sends two outputs. Topic, typing, payload, true. This triggers the typing indicator. Topic, chat underscore update, payload, chat history. This updates the chat history. Step 3. Displaying chat history. Node-RED provides a way to visualize messages in a UI. For that, we use a chat history node, which is responsible for displaying messages in the chat interface. Chat history node. In this node, it basically loops through MSG, payload, chat messages, displays the sender, message user, message and timestamp. With this node in place, users can see both their messages and the chatbot's responses in real time. Step 4. Adding a typing indicator. To make the chatbot more interactive, we use a text node that displays chatbot is typing while responses are being processed. This small addition makes the chatbot feel more natural and engaging. Step 5. Saving chat history. We also need a way to save chat conversations so that users can review them later. This is done using a save chat button. Save chat button that is, UI button node. This button saves chat history to MongoDB when clicked. It is labeled as save chat. This button is wired to another function node called prepare chat for MongoDB. Step six, clearing chat history. 
Sometimes, users may want to start fresh by clearing the chat. For that, we add a clear chat button. Clear chat button. When clicked, it clears the chat history. It is connected to a function node named clear chat history. The clear chat history function node. This function clears stored chat messages. It removes previous messages from the flow memory, effectively resetting the conversation. Step seven, preparing data for MongoDB. Before saving chat history, we need to format the data properly. This is done using a function node called prepare chat for MongoDB. Prepare chat for MongoDB function node. Formats the chat messages along with timestamps. Prepares structured data to be inserted into MongoDB. With this function in place, all chat messages will be neatly stored for future retrieval. Step 8. Saving data to MongoDB. To store chat history permanently, we use a MongoDB node. The MongoDB node. This node is configured with the database details. It connects to a MongoDB database and inserts the chat history. The database is named ChatbotDB and the collection is chat history. The operation used is insert. The connection topology is set as MongoDB. If your database is hosted online or in the cloud, you can configure this node accordingly to match your setup. Let have a conclusion of this flow now. At this stage, we have built a fully functional chatbot using Node-RED. We have covered setting up user input handling, processing messages with chatbot logic, displaying chat history, adding a typing indicator, saving and clearing chat history, storing messages in MongoDB. Let me show you the demo of this flow and yeah. Stay tuned for the demo where I will showcase this chatbot in action. Like, share and subscribe for more such informative and useful content.